Chicago Sun-Times has a new investigation about the Cook County Circuit Court Clerk's Office, which is run by Dorothy Brown. She's an elected official that runs this uh, public agency. It's actually very, very large. It's uh, around 2,000 employees, government workers, and they serve as the bureaucracy for the court system in Cook County. Historically, it's a uh, place known as a patronage haven where uh, political workers are hired uh, by politicians. So Dorothy Brown has actually had a very interesting long history in, in Chicago area politics, and just her personally. I mean, she came from humble roots down south. Uh, she's an attorney and a CPA. When she first started getting into politics in Chicago, she was viewed as independent, as a reformer even. Um, she ran for uh, Cook County Board President unsuccessfully and the Mayor of Chicago unsuccessfully. But when she first uh, was elected the Cook County Circuit Court Clerk, she beat the machine candidate. She's had a lot of bad press over the years since first being hired. Uh, there was controversy over what was called Jeans Day, in which the hat was passed for cash uh, donations that would allow her employees to wear blue jeans. But there were questions about where that money ended up and it resulted in an inspector general investigation. There have been questions about her allegedly pressuring employees to join a marketing uh, operation called Five Links that she was part of. And there have been some other uh, sort of odd occurrences, including when she honored uh, her predecessors in her position, including Morgan Finley, who had gone to prison for bribery. So the ongoing federal investigation was spurred, at least in part, by a news story uh, that I worked on with Fox 32 about a land deal involving Clerk Brown, her husband, and a campaign donor. The campaign donor effectively gave a piece of land in Chicago to Brown's husband, who was transferred in ownership over to a company that she runs. It was sold for $100,000, and then the sale and the proceeds were never reported as a gift or a campaign donation. That led to an investigation by the Cook County Inspector General, which then led to the current federal investigation. We found that there were 15 employees or their households that donated to Dorothy Brown's political campaign within six months of a promotion and race. Some of those donations were within a relatively short period of time, days before or after a promotion. Our analysis, which involved uh, county payroll records as well as campaign records, found that nine circuit court clerk employees donated within a year before or after getting hired. And to be clear, we're not saying that there's any quid pro quo here, that people are buying promotions or, or jobs. We're raising questions about the timing of the donations and the promotions. So our story is timely also because it comes amid a, an ongoing federal investigation into Clerk Brown and the Circuit Court Clerk's office. Federal authorities have made it very clear that they are investigating job selling and the sales of promotions in the office too. Clerk Brown has taken heat in the past for accepting and soliciting campaign donations from her own employees. In 2012, she pledged to stop doing so. But our investigation also has found that she has not stopped doing so. Among the employees who donated to Clerk Brown's campaign fund are some high-level people, including her inspector general and her chief of staff. They both uh, donated money uh, within six-month periods uh, before or after a promotion. So Dorothy Brown would not answer um, a lot of our very specific questions. She would not talk to us personally, but she released a statement pointing out that she's made uh, literally thousands of promotions and uh, the evidence isn't there to show that there was a connection between promotions and donations in those cases. But there have been two people criminally charged so far, two others in the office implicated by federal authorities. While Clerk Brown has not been criminally charged and she denies anything, uh, doing anything wrong, the federal authorities in their paperwork and their court documents have made it clear that she's A, a target, and B, the investigation is ongoing.